A couple hours ago, the Prisma team released a new package called um, NPX Tri Prisma, and your favorite reporter Josh is here on the scene, ready to assess the situation. So what is Tri Prisma? Well, essentially it's a package that lets you initialize new Prisma projects with an ideal structure. So you can look like how they structure. You can look at how they structure projects, and um, how to set up um, ideally Prisma with GraphQL with a TypeScript, JavaScript, with an Express backend, with Next.js API routes, they give you a lot of different projects that you can explore. And essentially, Try Prisma sets up these projects for you, uh, so you can take a look at what the uh, code looks like and mess around with a local SQLite database. What Try Prisma looks like in practice, we're gonna take a look at right now. Uh, it's pretty cool, so it's it's definitely worth taking a look at. Let's dive right into it. Okay, now to take a look at how Triprisma looks like in actuality, let's go into our command uh, prompt. You can follow along in a PowerShell, you can follow along in a CMD. You don't have to follow along, you can just uh, watch me do it. Um, it doesn't matter. So we can type in um, npx tri-prisma, and that's how we get uh, the whole ball rolling. And we can choose between TypeScript and JavaScript. Now, let's go for TypeScript, and there is a bunch of stuff you can choose from, um, which repeats itself. So if you go down far enough, it will start to repeat, like um, GraphQL Fastify, GraphQL Express. Some of these, I don't even know what they are. For, for instance, this one, um, uh, Fastify STL first, no idea what this is. Happy, happy STL first, no idea. Um, but what we are interested in is the Next.js stuff. At least probably most of you are, but there's also Nest.js, there's regular Express. There's a lot of stuff you can um, experiment with, which I really like about this new Tri Prisma. And um, for Next.js, there are currently four supported. And there's the API routes, there's API routes with auth, then there's the Express backend and Express with a frontend. Let's, let's go for the uh, most basic one. We do not want the um, packages installed. And at this point, um, every time I tried try Prisma, I've had the same error that it gets stuck at this point, which is really weird. And I don't even know what I did um, to fix it. I managed to fix it every time, but it is kind of weird. So we can type normally, so it, it does uh, recognize our keystrokes, uh, but we can't use the arrow keys, which is very weird. Uh, so let me get that fixed and then I'll see you in one second. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just pressed enter a bunch of times. It shows NPM, even though I would have preferred yarn, but I guess it's fine. And um, let's name our project. Let's call it Prisma. Actually, let's call it Try Prisma. And the folder should be created in dot. Okay, and that was it. Um, so because we didn't install the dependencies, it was really fast. Okay, let's start it up and take a look what happens when we type in yarn dev. Let's just go for it right away. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Next is okay. That might be because we still need to uh, install the dependencies. So npm install. It will go into our package.json. Uh, take a look at what we need. So uh, Prisma client next. Um, pretty basic stuff. So it is not a bloated project at all. It is um, really just the bare bones to get started with Prisma. That's all this project is, um, to just experiment a bit with your Prisma. There's even a um, seeding option for Prisma. Um, so the database gets seeded with some information. As you can see here, this is the seed file. So a bunch of stuff will be inserted into the database, um, which is, by the way, going to be SQLite. Um, so we're not actually hosting this database somewhere in the cloud, uh, but this will be a local version of the database. And now let's run um, npm run dev or yarn dev, doesn't really matter. Yarn dev, let's see what happens. And uh, the project will start. Um, interestingly enough, it won't work yet though. Um, let me demonstrate that. Okay, so Prisma post find many invocation didn't work. Um, let's see what error we got in the console. Uh, let's go into here. Um, invalid Prisma post find many invocation main Dot post does not exist in the current database. How do we fix that? Well, there is a command we can type in to synchronize our local Prisma with the uh, database file. So what we can type in is npx prisma migrate dev, and then dash dash name in it for initialize. And let's run that and run the um, yarn dev again. As you can see right now, your database is now in sync with your schema. So that means the um, schema 
we have to, oh, we are, we are already in that. We have defined right here is now synchronized with our DB, which is this file right here, which I can't view in VS Code, but essentially this is like a table and SQL a database that we are um, having locally on our machine. And that's uh, pretty much everything. So now we can run yarn dev and let's see what happens. So let's read out the page and hopefully the error is gone. Yes, sir. And uh, in here we can do multiple multiple um, things. So for example, let's try creating a post and see what happens. So the title, oh no, the title will be my blog. The author will be josh at email.com. And the content will be hello world. Okay, let's click create. Nothing happens. Let's let's take a look at uh, the um, console. And there's an error cause no user records uh, was found. And that is because there is no user that is required to post this. So first we need to sign up. We can say uh, Josh and then we can have Josh um, at email.com. Click sign up and now that should work. So we can go to create draft. Essentially it uh, demons, uh, it um, simulates a login kind of like that, like authentication, but without really being authentication. And let's type in my blog. The author is going to be the same that we've just created a sign up for. So josh at email.com or whatever you chose. Um, and then hello world. Let's click create. And there we go. We've created our first blog article that is now in an actual database. So when we uh, reload the blog, um, it should be under drafts because we didn't publish it yet. When we click it, click pu publish, then we can see it's in the blog and not in the drafts anymore. And we can reload the page all we want. We can uh, even go to, you know, the um, local storage to see it's really not hosted anywhere here, um, but instead it is actually hosted um, in our SQL database. And that's the whole point of Try Prisma. Not only having this project, but also being able to experiment with all the different use cases that you can imagine. So uh, npx Try Prisma, and we can try going for. Um, something that has authentication, for example. Or we can take a look at what else there is with Next.js. So let's go into, you know, what can we take a look at? We can go for, wait, where's Next.js? Okay, here we are. So API routes auth, REST Next.js Express backend. That to me sounds very interesting. And then REST Next.js Express frontend. Uh, let's, try the, let's try the backend. Let's see what happens. Um, no, we don't want the stuff installed. And then, okay, we have the, the old issue again. Uh, okay, never mind. It just shows NPM. I guess that's fine. Um, let me know, please, if you um, are doing the same thing, if you're following along, uh, let me know if you have the same issue at the same step. That would be really interesting to me. Uh, what should the project be named? Um, try Prisma backend. And now I noticed I'm still doing this at the wrong directory and not at the desktop. And there we go. Let's take a look at what this looks like in VS Code now. And oh, no, 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 no. And um, how we can experiment with these files to um, get to know how to better work with Prisma, because that's the whole point. So, okay, now we can see, mm -hmm, interesting. We have, uh, what did I do with the media player? Um, we have this whole file. Now we still need the uh, dependencies. So let's run npm install because uh, it's throwing a lot of arrows right now. Um, so this is a regular Express server. We can see a GET request for drafts. Um, it interacts with our Prisma database. Um, so essentially, it's it's kind of like the um, built-in Next.js API routes that we have right here, just as Express um, that interact with the database that we can then make requests from the uh, front end too. So let's run node in, or actually we probably want TS node for this. Is that installed? Yes, it is, and it should be in the package.json. Yes, it is even under dev. Well, wow, that is that is good. So let's run um, yarn dev, and that should run our server. Yes, server ready at HTTP localhost 3001. And um, now we can make requests from the front end and uh, interact with our Prisma database. Uh, probably before we uh, need to do that, uh, before we can do that, we also need to run the a Prisma migrate command, which I'm not going to do now. Uh, I just want to give you an overview over the code. And then from the front end, we can make a post request that will uh, create the uh, the post into our database. Actually, let's uh, let's run the command. 
Um, let's run npx prisma migrate dev dash dash name in it. And that is going to create our local SQL database, which is going to be SQL Lite. And in here we would have all the um, the posts that we create with our express routes from the front end. So from React, uh, even Next.js, even though that, that wouldn't make too much sense, uh, we could say, you know, make a post request, fetch the post route of uh, localhost 3001, because this is the um, port where we're hosting this app, make a post request, uh, create a post that way, and then, you know, have this logic that we, uh, in, that in Next.js we have, I just realized my uh, light has been turning off for the past minute, so I might have been a bit dark there. Anyways, um, the logic that we normally have in um, Next.js API routes, or um, when you're considering the T3 stack with TRPC that we have in the TRPC routers, is now in an express file. And there's a bunch of cool stuff to um, try out even more that goes far beyond this. So npx try uh, pris Prisma. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't involve Next.js and um, that also involves um, Express sometimes though. So there's um, GraphQL Express with authentication, with Fastify. There's a lot of stuff and we can also take a look at if we have different options when we go for um, JavaScript. So npx try Prisma because now I've just been going for TypeScript, but there's also JavaScript. So, okay, no, it, it seems to be the same thing just with JavaScript instead of TypeScript, or is it the same thing? No, it does seem a bit different. I don't remember some of these. Um, so whatever you're using, um, probably TypeScript, because uh, I think that's what we use most on this channel. Um, but just uh, experiment, let me know if you um, also get the, the little bug on the package manager step. And I wish you a lot of fun and just messing around with um, Prisma applications, uh, Prisma databases. I think it's really cool. Um, really, really cool feature that they implemented and it's uh, brand new. So I'm really excited to try it out. Thank you for watching. That was all I wanted to share with you. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.